All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Fish Dimension. All right, the wife and I are back together and we have uh, come back to our spot at Flat Swamp here. Uh, just putting worms on hooks, basically. Uh, the reason we do that more often than not is because it's pretty much the best thing you can do for multi-species uh, fishing. We're looking to get on just about anything today. Uh, hoping for some bass, though. Hope the bass bite the worms. So, come along with us and see how we do. All right, so I'm being ultra lazy today. I'm, uh, I'm sitting down and I'm letting my rod just sit in one of these. I just got off, got off work so I don't feel like standing or moving around much. Getting a bite already. Little pecks. Yeah, that hook's too big. I might put one of the small gray ones on. I've had pretty small fish bite these uh, these big gold ones though. Kayaker. That looks comfy enough. Yeah, that does That's just one of those cheap ones from Walmart. Not a friggin' racket around here today. I don't even think she's fishing, I think she's just exploring. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wind up putting a tinier hook on. There you go. A bluegill. Always first one to the show. Always. Hmm. Much better. I'm gonna put you back in the water. Right. There we go. Very nice. Oh, my hook got stripped. <laughs> Why you weren't? All right. All right, I had to put a uh, smaller hook on because I was just getting my bait stripped over and over. If it was a bass, it wouldn't matter that I had a big hook on there, but uh, mostly I think it's just a bunch of little sunnies. Yeah, one thing I see a lot of people doing wrong is they'll just throw their bobber out there and leave it, and just wait till a fish comes by. You definitely, even when you got live bait on, you know, be it a worm or a minnow or whatever, you want to move your uh, your bait around a lot, you know, jig it, drag it, all that kind of stuff, because uh, it all gets the fish's attention. It can cover water. Yeah, cover water, it can bring them in for a strike. You don't ever want to just throw it out to one place and leave it there. It'll take all day to get a bite. Ain't too much of anything around here. I think there's a turtle down there trying to get at it. Yes. Yeah, there's a storm coming. Yeah, it's getting dark quick. Damn. Knew it was too good to last. It's blowing in fast as hell, too. Got it. Practically right on top of us already. Yeah, we're going to probably have to scoot on out of here for a little bit. Here we go. Getting a bite. I wonder if I can catch a fish before we get rained out here. That's today's challenge. The impending storm challenge. Look how fast that's moving. Just in the few moments we've been sitting here, it's gone from a bright, hot, sunny day to storm on the horizon here. Hey, yellow little yellow perch. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. All right, well, at least we got some multi-species hey, going really on. Pretty. Yeah, he's very uh, vivid. Well, we are going to be sorry in about 0. 0.3 seconds here if we don't get out. Yep. Let's just get a good shot of him for the camera. Yeah. And then we got to go. There you go. All right, awesome. Nice yellow perch. Yep. 
All right. Going back in the water. You can see how dark it's getting. We got to get out of here before we uh, get on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Strip my hook anyway. <laughs> At least they took it off for me. North Carolina, it's like living in Florida with like all of the storms and shit weather, but none of the benefits like palm trees and white sand beaches. dark this is a, a squall all right bucket there we go okay. i'll give you my rod there it is <laughs> yep yeah it looks bad all right and yeah, now you can see definitely coming in I think we're gonna head over to our spot at Southmont maybe the rain will be done by the time it takes us to drive there All right, so it's kind of raining now, so uh, instead of fishing, we decided to go to our favorite bait shop. Uh, uh, it's called uh, Mimi's Groceries Bait and Tackle. Uh, if you're ever off of uh, Route 8 in Lexington, uh, you should stop by and give it a look because it's a really neat little shop, and we get uh, definitely most of our crappy stuff there and a whole lot of other good stuff too. tackle here. Some nice big trout up there. At some point I want to try out one of these Mr. Crappy rods. See if we can do a challenge video with it or something. So we're at Southmont. Uh, the storm's going this direction. I don't know if it's going to hit us or miss us, honestly, but you can see the rain coming down right here. And there's the bulk of the, the thunderhead here. Hoping we actually get to do some fishing before the sun sets. Alright, not looking like this is going to last too long. But it looks like uh, fish will be forthcoming at least for a moment. Need to catch one before the storm comes. Getting, getting hit already. All right, got one. Whew. Bit sloppy, but it worked. Bluegill, of course. Good old Southmont uh, gold shiny one. There you go. We're gonna see how many we can catch before the storm rolls in. So I'm just doing quick little releases here. Not sounding good. All right, got another one. Ooh, nice big one. Quit thrashing, buddy. Ain't going nowhere. This one, uh, definitely eating size, I would say. Yeah, nice fish. Got a nice big mouth. Wanted to show you his orange breast here. All right. I think I feel the wind picking up a bit. More or less biting right away. Oh, I really hope the storm misses us, but it's uh, not sounding that way. I 
see they're being very specific in the uh, the spots that they're going for today. <laughs> uh, so doubled up here. I saw him come up for it, and I was like, "Yoink!" Hey, is that a is that a bluegill or a? It's a bluegill. It may be some sort of hybrid. He's got. His eyes are colored. Yeah, I think he may be some sort of hybrid. Hmm. Might be part shell cracker there. Could be. Either that or bluegill sometimes have red eyes, and I don't know. Uh, this is a uh, very little green sunfish here, actually. Uh, got all the, the hall marks I've been showing you guys. It's very energetic. They are. Nice orange tips on them, though. Get out of here, Christ. <laughs> what the? I'm like covered in no seams. What the hell is that about? They're like all over my pants for no reason. <laughs> Hell. I don't even know what they like about these pants. Maybe it said I got that nasty water on them yesterday when I was trying to get the lawnmower working. This is ridiculous. They're like, I'm batting them off and killing them and they're hopping right back on. Ugh. Not gonna lie, I know I complained a lot about winter, but I'm kind of starting to hate the summer. <sighs> For these reasons that you see today. Hasn't been a single day that it hasn't stormed. Bugs are crazy. And all we can seem to get on are these damn sunfish. Batting no seams off my pants and catching fish on the other side here. Of course, the second you uh, look away to do something, that's when they bite. All right, another bluegill. Hurrah. Back in. I'm starting to wonder if I even have a worm on still. No, I don't. That's a good 10 minutes I've wasted. Not looking good. Yeah, it's like he's playing that over there while he's uh, trying to fish, like a retard. How are you going to catch any fish when you've got loud ass music playing? I know, you scare them all away. Another annoyance of summer is having to uh, listening to other people's, uh, having to listen to other people's shitty music all damn day. I mean, like, look at this guy out here. It's like, so he's out there, you know, trying to catch fish on a bass boat, and he's got some loud ass, uh, you know, rock music playing or something. It's gonna scare away everything in the area. Good moron. <laughs> Where are they? Are they on top of this thing? Is that it? Yeah, that's what it is. They're on that log. Get rid of all these damn flies. I don't know if you guys can see this, but look at this. I'm like covered in gnats. Missed the fight, but there's another bluegill. Not like you guys haven't seen that a million times now. Hey yeah, guys, so um, just in case you're wondering, if you have a boat, never do this. Shitty country music, 
uh, all over the place where people are fishing so that uh, all the fish get scared away. You know, it's called being an asshole. on are you kidding me oh there we go got hung up on a log for a second there oh, and of course he choked it all the way down because I wasn't paying attention because I was watching the jerk over here In retrospect, summer might be one of the more annoying seasons you can fish. There we go. Sorry for my lack of attention to detail there, fish. Hard to pay attention when you got, you know, someone's crappy music blaring in your ears. If he comes in front of us, I'm gonna be pissed off. Of course they did. You can hear that shit clear across the lake. Well, he hasn't caught one so far, so apparently you don't. All right, there's a bite. Super small. Another bluegill. You and I are going to have to start focusing uh, primarily on bass fishing in the day or we're never going to catch anything but bluegill. Yeah, so for the record too, uh, guy hasn't caught a fucking thing. Yeah, fish don't, fish don't tend to bite when they're terrified and loud ass bass coming off of your boat is uh, pretty much going to do that. Now maybe we're finally getting rid of this asshole. Bye asshole. Hmm, there we go. No, it's it's a bluegill. Apparently that's all that lives in this water anymore. Yep. Did you have a fun ride? <laughs> is it worth that? Alright, there he is, how beautiful, blah blah blah, let's go. I swear when you get these line twists on your bobber and you start reeling it back in. The stupid thing acts like a, uh, like a diving crankbait. All right, so when your bobber gets twisted up like this, here's a little trick for getting it untangled without having to do it yourself. You just hold it like that, like a V, and let it untwist itself. And you're probably wondering, you know, if I hate the way these bobbers tangle up uh, so much, these, uh, these long weighted ones, why do I use them? And uh, the answer is that they, uh, they jig really well and they fly through the air really effectively. Um, I like the way they jig, especially when I'm fishing crappy. I just, I, I think the jigging with them is more effective in terms of how it makes the bait move. Oh, something just hit it. Got something decent? It's okay. Hmm. He hit it while I was reeling it in. Huh. Okay, her and I are about ready to go home. We're uh, losing daylight fast here. Uh, we didn't have too bad a day. We uh, got on a couple different species, uh, green sunfish, ton of bluegill, yellow perch. Um, I mean, when you're catching fish, you can't really complain, I guess, but... Uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes. It looks, it seems like we put up with every annoyance that summer can throw at you. You know, storms, loud ass cars, loud ass boats, million little gnats that kept still all over my pants. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that's another day in the fish dimension.